fresh Florida orange juice flows in bulk and in high gear. It's very quick, yes. We wondered what drives this breakfast machine. It's a very hands-on process. So we backed up, putting OJ in reverse. It's very quiet, very peaceful. It's heaven to me. Juice is in citrus farmer Steve Johnson's blood. Fourth generation. It takes about a year. The trees are blooming now, got little fruit on it. For an orange to grow. And you gotta twist and pull. Steve's challenge is picking at the perfect time. The better quality, the better we get paid. There's science. After about the hundredth one, you might get it down. Yet the ultimate test. Just squeeze it. Is taste. Like that one's ready. Steve's not alone in this field. We're already looking at next year today. Mitch Willett is a Tropicana buyer. He's forever seeking a balance between sweet and tangy. Right in the middle, and uh, every grove has its day. Today, Mitch has bought a full tractor trailer. <music> Tropicana's plant is 30 miles west, and it's a race. After you pick an orange, it doesn't improve in quality. Fully loaded trucks roll in nonstop, 24 hours a day. We were amazed to learn that each trailer contains more than 120,000 oranges. Roger Hernandez greets 350 trucks a day. We're ready to go. Hydraulics hoist each trailer. There's gravity right now. Unloading unleashes this hypnotic waterfall of fruit. They're round, so they roll. See all those green oranges? We wondered if they'll sour tomorrow's jug. Juice fruit grows differently. Manufacturing boss Bill Poulton assures us green and orange are equally ripe. Even though it's green, identical on the inside. Next, workers remove rotten rejects. Chosen ones drop into thundering industrial orange juicers. A remnant reveals a precision cut. They're perfectly sliced in half. Each orange is squeezed seven times in just 1.7 seconds. Your home juicer operates exactly the same as Tropicana. Our processes aren't that different. It's just we do it 42 million times a day. Since Tropicana makes 100% juice, the pipeline's next stop is bottling. We want to put exactly 59 ounces in it. The bottle itself is molded just moments before it's filled. 360 times a minute, test tube lookalikes are pumped with hot air to become bottled. The entire operation cranks nonstop since consumers drink 600,000 bottles a day, and each one takes 16 oranges. It's a lot of orange juice. Before a single drop leaves Florida, it passes through the aromatic, a boardroom. We want to make sure that it's fresh. A panel of plant employees taste tests the final product. Each one of us will score individually. This scene, a daily routine. Throughout the day. After passing today's flavor trial, tomorrow's OJ is boxed up and poised to ship by rail. Five days a week, a taste of the tropics travels north, then west. Jersey City and Cincinnati and Los Angeles. On the Tropicana Juice Train. Today's train consists of 31 rail cars. For freshness, every long haul is refrigerated and every car is tracked by satellite. It is real time. Tropicana's command center can even remotely monitor the AC. If we see a unit go down, then we're able to respond to that. All aboard this train will be at someone's home inside of a week. This is a big part of Tropicana's heritage. It's only one ingredient. 100% Florida orange juice. Still, it takes time. Grove to glass. And a dedicated team. Incredible passion. Of hundreds. It does require a lot of people. To ensure your OJ. It's an honor to be a part of it. It's better than just okay. That's who we are, that's what we do. Chris Camora, Fox 13 News.